Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a create your own custom cover and I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I did my sticker book custom cover um, but this one is going to be for a classic size planner. Um, the one I'm actually doing in today's video will be featured in a giveaway so stay tuned for that at the end of the video. So here I'm just showing you everything I used. Um, some Sharpies, King Size, Fine Point, and Ultra Fine Point Sharpies, all in black, of course. Um, I'm using a, like a regular size sticker book as a reference, a Tombow Permanent Adhesive Roller, uh, just sort of just a straight edge ruler, something that you could use like that. I have this one. And then your washi tape. You're going to need two sizes, a thicker one and a thinner one. Here I showed you like the inspiration photo I kind of printed um, and cut out the two little pieces that we're going to be using. So the, that's all we're going to need from that. We're going to use that for something later. And yeah, and I'm using the Squad Life sticker book just kind of as a reference point and I'll show you guys how, how, excuse me, how I use that. So first thing you're going to do is just take out your piece of paper that comes inside of your planner. Um, you could replace it with a cardstock um, sheet of paper as I did. It's just thicker. Um, and so you're, you're going to use the edge of your sticker book and sort of mark off all those little lines um, so that we can make our cover look just like the sticker book. So what I do is I just place it right on top and then I will take um, like a really fine tip pen. This one's like 0.01 so it's super thin. And we're just going to mark the lines that we see. I know it's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm also sort of just marking like which lines are going to be black or colored in um, so that I can distinguish them as I'm drawing them like across the page um, so I don't get confused accidentally. And you're going to want to do this all the way down. Um, try not to worry about any other lines. We're just coloring or marking off the black lines first and then sort of measure the best you can on the bottom kind of where you want that thing to, you know, the edge to be. Um, and again, color that in. You're going to flip it all over and try your best to match it up on the other side as well. I'm going to try to fast forward through some of this because I know it's sort of tedious work. So once you have all of your little markers drawn out on the side of your page, you're going to just go ahead and we're going to grab our ruler and we are going to um, start filling in our lines. So we're going to make it go from one side to the other to just complete the line. Don't be a dumb dumb like me and do it over your white table, like put down a piece of paper before you do so, you'll see me grab one later. Um, just, just to keep things neat. And like I said, we're just drawing lines, connecting them from edge to edge, um, where we, where we did our little markers. Um, you'll see me here kind of mess up, and I wanted to include it in the video so you guys can see how I fixed it. Um, as you can see that that little section is really thin and I started freaking out so I measured it again and as you noticed like the one on the sticker books a little bit thicker so I ended up just writing or marking the line where it wasn't supposed to be um, and that's okay so we just drew it a little bit bigger sorry if you can hear construction in the background and then I made sure to remind myself that that entire section was going to be colored in and then you just keep going. Now that we have
have all of our lines drawn out where we need um, all, like all of our sections to be blackened, I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm just using that scratch paper that we printed. Um, and I'm going to line up my ruler. I do the bottom section first um, just because that's easiest for me. It's sort of, you know, a one and done sort of thing. The top is going to take you a lot of time. Um, so I just hold the ruler there and get my king size sharpie and then use that um, as a guide to help me, <clears throat> excuse me, um, just color out that bottom section. I find that you're going to want to do two or three layers of just sharpie over sharpie, especially in my case, I had to do like three or four layers of sharpie. <laughs> over some sections because this sharpie was just like on its last leg. I definitely need a new one, um, but he did the job and I really wanted it to be very, very, very black um, as if it were printed. So I went over it a few times. Sometimes I would stop and let it dry and then go over it again. And you can sort of see the little sections that I'm going over it. Don't change direction in your like sharpie. Make sure that if you started horizontally you finish horizontally because sometimes you can see the lines. Um, and look at how perfect that looks. Good job me. <laughs> um, but this is not hard to do at all. You guys can totally do this. And I'll show you. I was using the wrong edge. I also do the very very top one. That took, sometimes it takes me a while to line th things up. I'm sorry. This Sharpie was like the perfect size for that. It just glided over that little section so seamlessly. But again, just keep going over it. Go over it again and again. See, I let it dry a little bit. And then you go over it again in the same sort of long strokes. If you wanted to do short ones, you could. But in the same direction. Now we're moving on to that center section, um, the one that we did like that little scribble over to remind us that that was all going to be colored in. And again, my Sharpie's kind of giving out at this point, but that's okay. It still came out great, I think. We're just using very long strokes. Try not to rush through this process as much as you can, um, because if you mess up on the Sharpie part, that, that tends to be the biggest um, thing you notice, but I'll show you later a little tip um, on how to fix some of your boo-boos if you happen to like go over a line you didn't mean to, um, or your Sharpie sort of bled onto like the white stripes, because um, trust me, that happens more often than not. Just Maybe it was just the piece of paper that I was using, the Sharpie just sort of bled onto everything and on the section that I need, didn't need it to, which is why the ruler is so helpful. Um, you don't have to worry so much about, you know, running or accidentally moving your hand too far in one direction because um, the ruler is going to be there to, to help you and to guide you a little bit better. Next we'll move on into the smaller lines and at first I started using like the really thin uh, fine point sharpie and sort of filling that in um, but you'll see later I switched to the um, like a little bit thicker I think it's like just a medium point sharpie and you'll see how much better um, and easier that will look um, so I'm just gonna fast forward through all of this you guys know how to color Try your best to color in between the lines that you put down. Here's where I show you that little tip I was talking about. You can use a jelly roll pen in like white ink. And just go over the little bits that sort of bled onto the white sections or your white lines um, just to smooth and clean everything up a little bit better. Um, the jelly roll kind of, um, it doesn't dry very quickly, so 
um, I would definitely suggest waiting until the end. Um, I found that I had to wait a little bit in between since it kind of stays wet for a little bit, which is not a bad thing. It's just, you know, something to keep in mind. And then we will move on back into coloring. So once we were done with all of our black lines, I went ahead and just kind of measured everything against my sticker book, like where I wanted the Happy Planner logo to be placed. Um, in the original um, cover that I did, I actually put a hole punch to match the sticker book exactly. But in this one, since it's a cover um, and you're not going to be able to see all the way through, I thought maybe not. So I went ahead and just used some Tombow adhesive or roll adhesive for this part um, for like a little flag in our logo and I put down adhesive on the flag and then realized we should have probably done the logo first since that's going to be in the center so we're going to do that and then always you know put it on a piece of paper on the background because that way you can get all the sticky stuff onto the paper and not onto your table see I got sticky stuff everywhere and my fingers seem to be too fat for this. Sorry. Um, so we're going to use some tweezers and do the best you can in measuring. I had the sticker book right next to me, so I kind of lined up like where the planner, the word planner is, to like the black line in the background, towards the center. It doesn't have to be precise, but since we're doing a giveaway with this guy, he's not going to be mine. I'm not going to keep him. He's going to go to someone else so I wanted him to be as perfect as I possibly could get him and then place that down this Tombow adhesive stuff is so fabulous oh I love it um, and so on the bottom of that little flag I just filled in that little bit of white space that was bothering me I did this on the other covers that I did as well Made sure everything looked good. We were looking good. We're looking good. And then I think now we will move into washi. I found this really soft pink um, washi in my collection and I tried my best. It has like little bits of gold in it. It's so pretty. Um, I tried my best to line it up. I know this takes forever, um, but trying to match the like original sticker book I did two lines of washi just to really make it pop. You don't you don't have to do two lines. I'm just I'm just that extra. I had to. You also don't have to pick out a washi that matches like little flag color. That's just what I like. Um, but you could mix and match. You can make it rainbow. Do however you please, make it your own. Then you're just going to want to trim the edges, get all that washi put away, smooth every little bit you've got going on, and then this little piece of washi, this is why you needed two different types of washi, a thicker one and a thinner one. This thinner one is actually going to go on the bottom and act sort of like um, are elastic you know that goes around the sticker books so this is just pretending to be elastic at the bottom and then you're just going to want to trim those edges as well so I didn't realize but at some point my camera just shut off and it stopped recording so I didn't get any of the footage of me putting down any stickers so it just cuts to it being finished. So this is our cover. If you guys like this cover, he's actually being given away to one of my subscribers and or followers on Instagram. So he can be yours. Um, I will have all of the details listed in the description box below for how to enter into the giveaway and also um, on my Instagram. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, 
that is linked down below as well for you guys to check out. Thank you guys so much for sitting down and doing this little craft with me. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!